and welcome to another edition of King Crush Thursdays, a series where we highlight and uplift Black men, because frankly, not too many people are doing it. My name is Val Gay, and I'm super excited to bring to you this brother today. He's a husband, a father of three. He's a sports and exercise enthusiast turned sports and exercise entrepreneur, full-time entrepreneur, which is really exciting. And I'm happy to bring him to you today, please welcome Mr. Lazarus Runner. Hi, Lazarus. Hey, hey, what's going on? That's Appreciate right. you having me. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so glad. Yeah. You're Thank you so much for saying yes and for contributing to this repository of six questions on our way to 100 answers by 100 different Black men. Mm -hmm. And you know, the goal is for one day a young king who may or may not have positive black male role models in his life to look at this, these repository of questions and these 100 different answers and hopefully find guidance in there. And then for the rest of us who are neither uh, male or even black, for the rest of us to take a little insight, a, a little snippet into um, this community that is often overlooked and undervalued and who I have the greatest esteem for, starting with my own dad and my brothers. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm just really grateful that you are um, here to participate today. So we're gonna get started with the first question, mm -hmm. which is, what does manhood mean to you? Yeah, and that's such a great question to lead off with. And um, I believe that manhood is the process by which uh, we choose to become a man. Um, it is my belief that uh, it doesn't just happen. Um, it's something that we have to be very intentional about um, um, uh, engaging with and submitting ourselves to those situations and, and circumstances that um, could help uh, fortify us, uh, help strengthen us mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically um, to be able to uphold the responsibility of being a man. Um, so it is definitely a choice. And uh, I, I think that's something that, uh, you know, there's a lot of discussion about rites of passage and different things like that. But um, I didn't go through a rites of passage. I just decided that this is the kind of man that I wanted to be and embarked on that. And uh, it's going to be a never ending process, but it's definitely a choice to enter into the process of becoming a man. Mm -hmm. Mm, that's really powerful. Thank you. Thank you so much. So Lazarus, who and or what is important to you? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> a lot. Uh, you know, it, it may sound um, uh, stereotypical, but uh, my relationship with Yahweh, God, it, it's the main cultivator of the source of my identity. It's, it's, he is uh, my, a, a good father that watches over me uh, daily that, that, you know, corrects me when I need correcting, strengthens me when I need strength. It's, he's the source of everything. And, and without him, I mean, my, my very name in uh, Greek is translated into God helped. So I would be remiss uh, to look over my life and, um, and all of what I've been through and not say uh, Yahweh. Um, Secondly, it would definitely be uh, my wife, my road dog, my, my helpmate, uh, my real, uh, because she has been uh, with me uh, from throughout that process of becoming a man, right? I was, we were 19 when we first started dating, got married at uh, 24 and had our first kid at 25, 26. So 17 years later of marriage, uh, over 20 years of, of friendship and, and being uh in relationship with each other, you know, she has seen the best and the worst of me. So um, without her being my support system, it would I, it, it would be a different outcome for me. Um, uh, lastly, uh, I mean, not lastly, but definitely my kids, because um, they really helped me to uh, step up to that responsibility. Like when you get into when you say I do, you know, the, the process of becoming less selfish, <laughs> you know, uh, definitely kicks off. And then, you know, when you have that child, um, it's just one of those things that, I mean, my heart was just immediately like I would do uh, anything I need to to make sure. And so through them and through being married, it's really taught me what love is. And, and it's also taught me what it isn't. 
So, um, but those will be uh, the most uh, people, most important people in my life. And then uh, I have one more gentleman who I actually nominated uh, to you, uh, who has, it's like my brother from another mother. And he is uh, walking with me. We've known each other for almost 15, 16 years now. And uh, I mean, he, he's just a few more steps ahead of me. And, and he uses that experience and that wisdom to kind of help me and coach me through different life uh, circumstances. And so uh, those are my those are my circle, man. That's that, that's my support system right there. But tons of other people, tons of other people. But you talk about going deep and important, you know. So, yeah. That's awesome. That's really awesome. That's excellent. Excellent. What a great list. What a great list. So, Lazarus, um, how do you want us to see you? Mm. Um, I, I really um, have a deep desire to be my full self, right? And um, that means that I have to show up um, to be fully seen, to be fully known, um, whether it's a great day or a not so good day. Um, I know typically as a as a man, uh, we, we hide our negative feelings and emotions and, and try to show up in our strength. Um, but what I found uh, for me personally is that if I only allow people to see my best self, um, then I they really I really don't give them a chance to know me to know me and we all had the desire to be fully known and be fully accepted for who we are but I realized that if I only show up um, with with my highlight reel then I'm not being vulnerable I, I rob people of the opportunity to love me to correct me to to you know to walk with me and so um, that that's how I will answer that question. I, I just want to be my full self and uh, and and deal with um, the different perspectives that come along with that. You know, not everybody's going to like you and not everybody is going to dislike you. It's just it's, it's risky, you know, because it's 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 really easy to, you know, be a chameleon around different types of people. But it takes a lot of courage to show up and like. Well, I don't feel like I belong in this room, but I'm going to be in here anyway. So um, I just want to just show my full self uh, and 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 offer that to people. That's awesome. Excellent. What a beautiful answer. Thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. So Lazarus, what is your epic dream? Right now I'm working on it. Um, and, you know, I, I'm currently... Uh, an entrepreneur, right? And uh, I, I'm I'm using my gifts, talents, skills, and abilities to, to provide income, right? But there's something about um, owning a business with a building and providing services that you can see are impacting uh, people. And and one of my biggest goals, because of my vocational journey, um, and, and serving under various leaders and bosses and different things like that got a lot of experience with, you know, what to do and what not to do. But my epic dream is to, uh, I don't want to give too much of it away, you know, (laughs) but um, to have a place where people um, get to get well and have fun doing it. Um, So, you know, a lot of people, um, what I found out from being a personal trainer, you know, there's only a few options that people know of that that they can go to to get fit, get healthy, get well, right? Your gym or studio or things like that. Well, uh, my epic dream is providing a, a different space that allows adults like you and me working and grinding and 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 being responsible and, and being great to go and play and get well doing it. So uh, that's that's to be continued. And I don't want to give too much away, but that that is my 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 dream. I, I really believe that it's going to change the 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 paradigm and what it means to to get well, to be well, to live well as as an adult. That's really phenomenal. And to mm-hmm. me, the most important thing that you just said was uh, what you believe, right? Mm-hmm. Like you, that's it, right? Like yeah, that's, that's it. it. It's already done. So it's a wrap. I'm not saying anything, right? Is like, it? We didn't say anything. Else. It. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. 
<laughs> <laughs> so question five is Lazarus Lazarus Brunner. Who are you? Who am I? Um, it's funny at a Bible study we were breaking this question down. Um I think at the source of who I am, um, the the essence of who I am that will live on for eternity, that is my anchor. That's my foundation for who I am and my identity. And that is love. Um, I, I am a, um, a leader, a warrior that's fueled and motivated to protect those that I love who who aren't able to protect themselves. And, and the whole motivation for that is love, you know? Um, so I'm a leader, I'm a warrior that's fueled by love. Wow, wow. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are already at question six, which mm -hmm. is, is there anything that I should have asked you that I didn't, or you wanted me to ask you that I didn't? In other words, what did I miss? Mm. Well, that'll be a, a, a longer show. <laughs> um, but um, one of my biggest things is um, what I work with a lot of my clients, people who are high performing, people, young kids who just want to make their basketball team is I help them define what it means to be well. And so for me, you know, the in, being in the health and, and wellness industry, uh, that term is thrown around a lot, but what people don't ask is, what does it mean to be well? What does it look like? What are the components of being well, living well? And um, that that would have been a question that I would have loved for you to ask. Okay, well, do you want to answer? <laughs> Absolutely, since you asked. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, we are... I, I like to say this analogy. Um, you know how people say mind, body, and spirit? Well, for a second, I'm a, I'm a person that loves words, like the power of words. And, and, and I got to thinking about that mind, body, and spirit. Why do we say them in that order? And so I, I got to think about it. Let, let's just, if, if, I, if, you, if we are mind, body, and spirit, if you take away the mind, you still have the body and spirit, correct? And so that person still exists. So you can still exist not having your mind, but your body and your spirit is in there. It's usually people who are, uh, um, what do you call it, in comas or stuff like that, right? Uh, so, okay, so you have the mind, you take away the body and then have the spirit and the mind. Well, yeah, the, the, the spirit lives on, right? So I got to thinking about, okay, well, if the spirit is what lasts forever, shouldn't that be the most, uh, shouldn't that be the priority, uh, the area of our being that we pour into, right? And then from our spirit, right, it, that impacts our mind and our emotions and how we deal with very challenging situations. And, and then our mind controls our body. So it should be spirit, mind, and then body. And so for me, I, I just began to to really explore what does it mean to be spiritually well? You know, what are some things? Do, I mean, there are, you know, a lot of different, you know, spiritual beliefs and systems. And it's not for me to say what is right for for one person. But I do believe that if that's what it, uh, lasts eternally, then that should be a priority for us uh, because it fuels uh, all the other areas that we are as as beings, as human beings. So. Um, that that would be my short answer. Uh, uh, participating, engaging in activities and, uh, you know, practices or whatever that influences our spirit, which influences our mind and our emotions, which influences our body. And the goal for me is to be whole and complete person and, a, and those things working simultaneously together to make my full self be and so I can accomplish what I'm here to accomplish. So that that is what I help walk people through and define it for them. But uh, that's how I define it for me. That's awesome! Wow, got it! Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> that's that's really great. That's awesome! Excellent! Thank you! Thank you so much for this, and I just really appreciate everything that you said. You know, um, and just 
reading about the work that you're doing and the leap that you took uh, to to go into, as you call it, your vocational calling mm -hmm. and passion around helping others. And even through your answers, you can see the connection, the wholeness of the being. It's just really wonderful to witness. And, and I just honor you, my king. And mm -hmm. I just pray that God continues to strengthen you and deepen you and that your epic dream comes true so many times over. Yes, but, yes. Yeah. Amen and hallelujah. We agree. <laughs> Yeah, and I just want to thank you for real. Um, one of the reasons why I just said yes without even really know knowing in depth is is uh, I totally agree with you. Uh, you know, and that's why I named my business Good Man Wellness because I wanted to recognize men who don't see themselves as good, and 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 to encourage them and uplift them and 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 fortify them. And so the fact that you are embarking on this to create a, you know, knowledge bank and resource for people uh, to get perspectives from a lot of other different uh, African-American men is, is phenomenal. And, I, and my head is is off. I took my hat off to you for for embarking on that because it's, it's very important. And uh, and I want to see more of my African-American men walking in their fullness of who they are. And uh, this, you know, your show is one of those things that I believe is going to help bring that to fruition. So thank you. Thank wow. you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lazarus. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you for joining us. I hope that you were as inspired and uplifted as I was during this interview. And I'm looking forward to that epic dream. And um, stay tuned next week for another amazing king. And if there is a black man in your life that you want to see highlighted in this forum, please feel free to click the link below or in my bio, fill out the nomination form, and we'll take it from there. We are on our way to 100 kings, 100 positive and successful black men. I should say, I say this all the time, but it bears repeating. Success does not mean, does not equal what someone does for a living, but really is about the content of their character, who they are and how they are impacting their community, be it their nuclear family or the larger community and everything in between. Those are the brothers that we wanna talk about and talk to and highlight here. So please feel free to go ahead and nominate someone. And in the meantime, please remember to spread love and have a great day. Thanks so much. And thank you so much, Lazarus. That was really, really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a blessed one now.